Hope you all enjoyed it. Um, this is Watch Me Work. I'm SLP. We are here to work with you. Watch Me Work is all about you. We've been doing this show from like since like 2010 or something when we used to do it live in the lobby of the public theater. And thank you to the public theater and thank you to Howl Round for sponsoring us, guiding us, allowing us to uh, keep it going all these many years. Um, so what do we do? We work together for 20 minutes and then we talk, we spend the remaining hour talking with you about your work and your creative process. Um, I probably left out a huge number of things, but Audrey will tell, as I go to get my timer, uh, Audrey will tell us how to get in touch if you have a question during the questions time. Ooh. Well, thank you. Hey. Oh, oh, <laughs> hi. Um, I just stretch and get my timer there. There it is. It's like a cat died. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that did happen here, but not recently. Not recently. <laughs> no. um, so if you have a question and you would like to get in touch, if you are inside of the Zoom, what you need to do is click on the raise your hand icon, which is inside of the reactions button, likely on the bottom of your screen on the laptop or the top if you're on an iPad or a tablet. Um, if you are not on the Zoom, but you're watching remotely, you can um, ask us a question by uh tweeting it at watch me work slp the hashtag howl round h-o-w-l-r-o-u-n-d or you can tweet at the public theater you can message the public theater on instagram or you can write to our facebook and we'll get the question we sort of answer questions in in a willy-nilly fashion here so uh we might not get to everybody but thank you thank you that's sort of it willy-nilly i love it yeah <laughs> willy-nilly <laughs> I love it. Okay, so uh, we're going to start by working together for 20 minutes and then we'll, we'll talk for the remaining time. Here we go.
bling, 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 bling. All right, all right. Okay, cool. All right, so um, here's a moment in the show. Do we take questions? Or, uh, you know, sit in silence. Crystal, are you putting your hand up in a in a in a traditional manner? You, here you go. Hey, yes. Crystal. Yes. All right. How you doing? I, did, did you forget where the but the raise your hand button was? I know. No, when um my script took over Zoom, so I couldn't find any buttons. So understood. <laughs> Great. Well, I, yeah. It, it it always this always works. <laughs> Thanks for taking my, my hand. Yeah. <laughs> um, so um, I'm, I'm pretty much finished the Barbie. All right. Yeah. Yay. That's great. Um, I'm going to be excited. Yeah. I'm really excited about it. Really excited. It's Look great. at you. Look it's at so you. out there. Look it's at you like... smiling. <laughs> so um, I'm on to an, another piece that I think I'm going to try to submit to another um, festival. Okay. And um it's um, it's kind of hard because I I feel like I I've I'm already started on it and it, it's it's called the Untitled Sermon, oh, and um it 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 deals with race relations and how the and how the church has ignored some churches I'm not saying all some churches mm-hmm. have just plain ignored race <laughs> issues that have happened in the last few years mm-hmm. and um. And I'm, I'm, I'm kind of having a hard time. I think I'm writing, I'm trying to write story first and like, just see who wants to be a part of this story. Like, I don't have, I don't have a, this is just a different way I'm approaching writing this play. And, um, and so I'm, I'm, I'm approaching it more story driven than character driven, if that makes sense, because I, I know what I want to happen, but I don't know who I want to be in it. Um, mm-hmm. I, I just kind of am like, all right, let's throw this name in here and see what they have to offer. Uh-huh. Um, and I think um, it's, it's, it's a play that I've wanted to write for a long time since George Floyd and since watching um, the inactivity of some places. Mm -hmm. Um, some, some places and, you know, I I go to church and so I feel like I can kind of say what I feel Mm because what I've witnessed and what I haven't witnessed and, and just looking around and searching and, um, but at the same time, I feel like a, a little bit of a fear, um, to, to dissect and to go in like that. Um, cause it feels like, oh man, like this very hardcore sacred place. Um, but at the same, t- it's, it's very conflicting, I should say. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think like, I'm, I'm just, I'm having trouble like sifting through that and getting to the, like the meat of what needs to be said, because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm already like, oh man, am I going to be like tarred and feathered after this? But I feel like it needs to be Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. done it's one of it's just one of those plays that because this festival was like oh give us 10 pages and I'm like okay I I can I can do 10 pages I think I can do 10 pages I just feel very um this one's a tough one this one's mm-hmm. this one's a tough one mm-hmm. um because they they want to expand on it they'll they'll if they choose it they'll want to expand on it and I, and it's uh it's just uh I think you know, it's, I'm wearing both the, the church hat and the mm-hmm. writer hat and, and they feel like they're in conflict when, with one another, you know? Mm-hmm. Wow. That, yeah. That's, it's some, it's often hard to write about things that make us feel like, gee, if I write this, you know, I'm going to get hated on, you know? Um, and I hear what you're saying. Um, mm, 
Mm -hmm. So you're, you're writing specifically about a specific church or the, when you say the church, you know, that's kind of a broad brush there. Yeah, it's broad. I'm, I, I'm speaking to a group of churches that have not responded like at all mm -hmm. to the things that have happened in our, in our country in the last very, very visceral few years. Right. Is it, is it um, just to dig into a little bit, is it a church that you attend or is it not a church other than you attend? Um, it's like, I feel like my church was delayed. Mm -hmm. they, they did respond, mm -hmm. but they were delayed in responding. Mm -hmm. um, and then I remember watching this program with like Kurt Franklin and he like flat out said that he, with other um, 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 white uh, like pastors mm -hmm. and he flat out said, I, I was disappointed that you didn't say anything. And mm -hmm. I felt like you left us hanging. Mm -hmm. And when, when he said that, it was like, that was like, whoa, you know, um, I wonder, I wonder how far, how I, because I mean, I, I mean, I was affected by all of this and my children were affected and, you know, my husband, like we were, we couldn't help, but feel, you know, in all of this change and all of the things that are happening, even now, you know, mm -hmm. like, it's like, so when he said that it was like, whoa, you like took very strong words out of my mouth and mm -hmm. spoke them for me. Mm -hmm. And I kind of feel like this slight need to do the same in play form. Mm -hmm. um, I just, I just kind of don't really know what I'm doing. I just know what the mess, like the message, the point I want to make, but I don't have, I don't have clear characters except like a pastor, but you know, I don't have clear, I have more story than I have people. Right, right. Well, I mean, I mean, the, the simple answer is, you know, just start writing, you know, I mean, again, it's like, it's like, it's like, you know, we could talk about Mount Fuji or Mount Everest for the next 29 million hours, or we could just, you know, start walking. <laughs> we could just start climbing, you know what I'm saying? We could just start one foot in front of the other. Um, it's, it's the same as, anything you're writing play novel movie anything you know you're just gonna have to put one foot in front of the other um and just be specific you're writing about i mean you know i mean i know you know a couple of things just say it to people in general who might not know um there's a saying that the most segregated time in america is sunday morning you know mm -hmm. that's the most segregated moment in america every week, Sunday morning, because that's when folks go to church and folks usually don't go to the same, you know, the black folks are usually in this church over here and the white folks in this church and the Asian folks over there and, you know, what have you. So that's something that we know, you know. Right. The other thing that we know is that um, historically, um, African-American churches have been very vocal in, in, and very involved in the civil rights movement. So that's something that you need to put in there. You know, you need to put in that it, it's a known thing that churches are often segregated, you know, and if yours isn't, then that's a something, mm -hmm. you know, that's a something you're allowed to say that. And what, what are the you know, worst case scenario, Crystal, what are they going to do? Tell you you're not welcome here anymore. Then guess what? I'm sorry, but fine. <laughs> Right. Because you don't want to be you don't want to be around. You don't want to be going to church every Sunday with people who aren't going to stick up for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, apply it to anything. I mean, you know, you, you want you want people to go, gee, that's that behavior demonstrated by those policemen in Minneapolis is unethical. Just, you know, it's unchristian. I mean, you know, I'm guessing I mean, when you say church. I'm guessing you're talking about Christian. It's unchristian. Can't we say something about that? You know, and if they can't, then you don't need to be. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm just suggesting that perhaps okay. there are better churches, right? Um, to 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 serve you and your family. But anyway, aside from that, the play, you just need to get specific. You know, 
think of your think of your characters you know because if you don't think your characters then it's only it's gonna might as well be an op-ed piece you're not writing a play right now you're just you're just on a soapbox which is great but you're not writing a play you know like ernest hemingway said the writer you know if you want to send a message go to western union i agree it's like yeah you know if you want to just if you want to write an essay go ahead if you but if you want to write a play you need to think about who your characters are you know Mm -hmm. um and, and maybe you know what moved your church or the church in question to finally speak and say something even though it was delayed you know mm-hmm. think of characters though plays have characters yeah i mean i have one but okay well maybe all you need is one but if you if you can only think your message drill down a little bit deeper drill down deeper yeah and get some characters or or, or flesh out the character Mm-hmm. you know otherwise it's, it, you don't want to be just a, a, a you know telling us what we already know mm. you know yeah and maybe you're you're not thinking of characters because you're scared if you don't think of characters and you're not gonna write it but, you know, <laughs> i know you i mean i'm you've been coming here for a while yet so, you know so you do you know, know. <laughs> yeah so so right you know again right how many pages is it? It's a page, a day, you know, write like a page and a half a day and see where you are next week. You should have 10 pages mm-hmm. and write them even if they're bad. So what? And if you are afraid of getting tarred and feathered, don't show it to anybody. Okay. I'm not going to do that, but I, I'm yeah, going to show see. somebody. I'll show somebody. <laughs> okay. okay. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, son. Thank you. <laughs> Um, all right, Matthew, you are up next. Hey, Matthew. Hey, how are you, SLP? Hey, thanks. Good, uh, to you. good to see you too. And thanks uh, so much for your advice uh, a few weeks ago uh, about reading out uh, the poems, which has been very helpful. Um, lots, lots of changes, moving down the process, getting closer. And I'm actually going to um, start where Crystal finished, which is specifically about showing it to people. Um, I had a friend of mine suggest that when I'm at the point where I feel ready, um, it's a good idea to um, let some people read it. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm still new to this part of uh, the process. So Uh just curious, when I'm trying to put together this next part, um, how many people should I consider sending it out to? Mm -hmm. Um, What are the kind of things that I would be uh, hoping um, would come out of that? Uh Well, that, those are great questions. Now, um, so there are poems, and I remember. Did you say you were going to do something video, uh, video related, or something like that? You Correct. Have, have yeah. Time. Right. Ultimately, music uh-huh. and video and, uh-huh. and the like. Yeah. Uh-huh. Would Would it be interesting to you to have them read aloud by people, or what? Yeah. Well, that's an interesting idea. Um, I hadn't thought of that. that yeah, that is uh, possibly a, a way to go. There are about 150 of these, so it's mm-hmm. uh, it's not a, a small lift to try and get uh, yeah. that many, but I, I suppose I don't need to get every single one in front of people. No, but you could have, like, you can, I mean, you can, it depends where, where you're at with and where we're at with COVID and all that. Mm-hmm. You know, inviting, you know, five folks over to your house, you know, and, and reading, you know, and, a, and giving them a, a maybe giving them 10 things. I mean, sometimes, you know, you invite people over, you give them a little bit of it to read and you have kind of a potluck thing. That's kind mm-hmm. of fun. That's fun. Mm-hmm. You know, it's social. Yeah. Um, you don't try to do it all at once. I wouldn't say if there, it sounds like a big project. So mm-hmm. do it in sections. Mm-hmm. Um, you could do it on zoom. If you, if you have, you know, even three friends or three people who are into reading it, who care again, who care, more about you than they do about seeing their ideas in your work. Mm-hmm. You know, um, we talked a, a couple of weeks ago, somebody had a similar question about some maybe trading off. Like if you have a, a, a group of people who you read stuff with, maybe someone else is going to show some of their work. So it's kind of reciprocal. Mm-hmm. Um, and you, uh, you get some people to read it out loud, which could be fun. Yeah, I love that. Just to um, hear it, you know. Sure. Um, that makes sense. My, my brother has written some plays and at oh, the end go. of his readings, um, he would sometimes ask 
I, I don't know. It seemed pretty uh, impromptu and informal. Is there any um, conventional process about asking people for feedback? Any specific I, things to ask? I, I think um, I think you can just say, you know, any any thoughts, any any questions, any places where it was like uh, uh, fun, any places where it was confusing. Uh, any suggestions and you know I'm, I'm and you can be open and you can have your notebook open and whether mm -hmm. they're in front of you and you're in your home or whether they're on zoom which is great you know mm -hmm. um and they can just talk about your work and give you some you know honest feedback and you know, hopefully again it, and it's important to get people who really appreciate you and know you you know mm -hmm. and are going to give you encouraging feedback i would suggest soliciting encouraging feedback that's mm -hmm. very important like you know, like we're, we're learning, you know, you're, you're learning. We're and every time you write something new, it's like, you're learning how to ride a bike all over again, a bicycle. Mm -hmm. you know? and, and I don't know how many people have been successful if their parent were running alongside them, yelling at them. Mm -hmm. It's awful. It's awful. You know, you want someone going, yeah, yeah. Good job. And even if you're wobbly on it, you want someone to, to cheer you on. Mm -hmm. to, uh, to follow up. Is it, is it important to have every one of these works, read and digested by others before I would try and say self-publish or send, send the whole collection out or. Uh, no, no, no. But, but um, it's a way, it's a way to kind of help you rewrite it. If you want to do some rewrites, you do sections of them, say they're, mm -hmm. say they're like 200 of them. So you do. Uh, yeah. 150. Yeah. So you do section, you know, you can do, you know, whatever, three sections, three visitings, you know, three meetings, if you will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, and just hear them out loud and, mm -hmm. you know, rewrite in between. You know? I love this. This is great. I, I'm, I'm very inspired by that. I, I, I look forward Thank to you. it. Thank, Thank you. you. Sounds like a great, great project, Ben. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Hey, SLP. Oh. Hi, SLP. Hi. Um, hi, everybody. Uh, so I'm hoping that asking this question, like merely asking it will open up my brain a little bit, um, but we'll see. I have been trying to write shorter pieces, like the 10 page plays um, that, you know, Crystal seems to be working on also, uh, but it's really hard. I get really in the weeds because I always want to write people who are very involved or have a lot of growing to do and 10 pages feels like a very short amount of time to spend with characters. And I was sort of wondering if you had any advice or knew how to approach something like a limit, like a page limit, uh, so short. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, um, have you ever watched television? No. Uh oh, she's muted. Oh, oh, let me help you. Oh, oh she, no. she, uh, I know. Oh, oh, hold on, Sarah. There you go. Yes. Episodes. Yeah. They do tend to be shorter with the same people every time. Okay. Yeah. Right. Right. So. Right. So if you have a, I mean. If you write a play about people who have a lot of growing to do and you just cut it off at an interesting place, I mean, everything ever written is a lot longer than it is on the page. The Odyssey. Okay, he gets home, he fights the suitors, they get together. The end, really? It's <laughs> and then they did a hundred million other things, right? We just call it the end because that's where we're ending it. You see what I'm saying? So the end is a is a is an artificial, you know, happily ever after, and then the dishes, you know, and then they do the, and then they have to get up the next morning and wash the dish. You know, we don't hear about that, right? Mm -hmm. So the end is just where the writer or the storyteller she's decided to say say uh, the end. Does that make sense? Yeah, a little bit. So oh, a little, yeah, I know, I know. It, I'm gonna make le I'm gonna make less sense now. Um, I'm gonna go. <laughs> uh, so um, 
don't sweat it if you have long involved characters just when you get to your page limit as you approach what do you call it, a 10 page play you're thinking like a 10 page play? great as you round the corner have you ever run track and field no oh, definitely not definitely but not. I, i've okay. seen it it's okay great so they're up on the corner it's it's they're uh, the, they're 220 meters from the finish line they're rounding the corner you know the final turn you know what i mean they're running around the corner as you are on page eight and you hit page eight and you're cresting, you're rounding the corner to page 10, start wrapping it up. Pretend it's a TV show, like a pilot, like a pilot for a TV show, you know? It's just, it's just the end for now. You can come back to them. It's not, again, again, think of, think of any novel, anything, any work. The end is not a summing up of everything. It's just where we stop. Just wrap oh. it up in some fashion. No, that sounds good to me. That mm -hmm. helps a lot. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. We'll see. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. All right, Richard. Hey, Richard. Hi. Um. Oh, great. Great to see you. Um. You. Uh, but, um Oh, it's so connected to what my problem is, which you just said was how to about the end. Mm -hmm. It's like I've like been so much re rewriting, adding pages to mm -hmm. what comes before the end. Mm -hmm. In the end, which was actually the first thing I knew mm -hmm. about what I was writing. Oh. Now doesn't just doesn't sit with me mm -hmm. and I, I guess I have this like constant thing about because when someone said this thing about oh you've written a play it's not a screen it's how can you call this a screen play and I kind of kind of feel like a lot of what the end is is about the connection to the people that's not about words mm -hmm. okay so i i i i'm i i want to be more focused i i i guess i'm always thinking about that so-called contradiction between the play ver versus the script the screenplay like like or maybe you answer the question already like how do you know if it works? How do you know mm -hmm. if this is the end? I mean, it, it, it's weird after two months, it's like actually after a year to finally come to the end and say, hmm, something's not working. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I, 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 hear, I hear what you're saying. Um, I guess I just need someone to listen to me. Well, that's why I actually, that's one of the reasons why we're here for each other, because we need someone to listen to us. We need someone to see us. We need someone to say, hey, you're a writer. You're an artist person. You're doing something beautiful. All right. You know, you know, just that and more and so much more. But um, I hear I hear you when you say that, Richard. I mean. I mean, how, how, how do you know it's the end? Or how, I mean, I, I heard in there, though, that someone said something to you that sounded kind of snarky to me. I mean, you haven't written a screenplay, you've written a play or whatever, that, whatever that comment was. I mean, that's kind of... Well, and there was something about it. I didn't even know what they said. Where's your B point? Where's your B whatever? Yeah, I, whatever that is, your D, what? B, your, yeah, I guess that oh, there's B no story. Yeah, the, the, if it's no B story, then it's not a screenplay. It's just a play. Yeah, yeah. That's, you know, there, there are a lot of people out there who give advice. And whether they're right or wrong, I don't know if they're right or wrong or whatever, but I do know when some people tell people something that pushes the person back you know what I mean and we've got a lot of that going on in the our entertainment industry we've got a lot of that going on in the world Russia thinks they own the Ukraine 
it's happening all over. It is, it is kind of like, um, there are ways to give notes when, when someone you're, you're reading someone's work and there are ways to help them move forward in their desire to write something. Um, and that's, those are the kinds of people, Richard, that you um, need to continue to surround yourself with more of those people who are encouraging and inclusive rather than people who are discouraging and make you feel like, you know, what's it all about? You know, what's it all worth? Okay. So just keep a list and keep away from the assholes. Well, keep a, yeah, keep away from the assholes. Everybody is full of shit. Some people are only assholes. Distinguish and stay clear of those assholes, bruh. Okay. Um, I don't know, you know, for every time people say it's not a screenplay, if it doesn't have, I mean, uh, there's so many cool screenplays out there. There's so many cool movies. There's a whole tradition of the avant-garde. There's so many things going on in the world that, that uh, you know, it's, it's not the 1930s anymore. We, we, there are lots of ways to tell a story and there are lots of people who are seen as leading characters, blah, blah, blah. I'll get off my soapbox. Um, if you're concerned about your end, Richard, you can write what I do a lot is I write a list of 10 stupid endings. Oh, okay. Here, here are the stupidest endings I can possibly think of. She, she buys a dog, you know, she, you know, what, what, just think of crazy, wacky endings that couldn't possibly be any good. P write down 10 of them and they all have to be kind of silly and stupid, not very good. And then you'll look at them and I think one is going to appeal to you. You know, one is, one is going to appeal to you and you go, hey, that might be fun. Go and go to where, go to one of those, go to one of those endings. And please keep coming back to watch me work because we really endeavor to uh, be supportive and critical. You know, I'll put the fire under your behind, you know what I'm saying? But. Okay. So c clearly, just mm -hmm. in a, I'll, um, ex uh, the, the, the criteria is not well to fix a problem. The, the criteria script versus screenplay is not about how many words in one form versus the other. Um, in my experience, it's not about word count. You know, think of, think of, I mean, think of Wally Shawn's My Dinner with Andre. I'm just making, you know, out of my head, right? Wally Shawn's My Dinner. Now that could, who knows? That could have been a play. You know, Wally Shawn's a great playwright and a fine screenwriter. You know, it could have been a play, but it was a movie. It was about two guys sitting, talking. I don't know. It could have been a play. Could have been a movie. It was a movie. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I don't, I, I think it's, um, it's, it's, it's the intent of the writer and what the writer imagines or what a filmmaker imagines they'd like to see. Some, some movies are just pictures. Some plays are just images and, and movement. Some beautiful composition, musical compositions don't have any notes like John Cage. I mean, hello, it's 2022. We're free. It's still Black History Month, please. Please, you know what I'm saying? So word count is not the definition of a screenplay. There's so many long ass speeches and plenty of movies have long speeches. Plenty of plays, you know, have little blah, 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 mammoth, buddha, buddha, short lines in his plays and his movies. So uh, I think there's more to, uh, I, th I think that person doesn't give the best feedback. That's what I think. And you need to surround yourself with people who give you better feedback. It's not just that person. I think, I guess, I hear it a lot, but just because that, that person does stuff with love, love. Not, it's not about, what you said was great. Um, just, you know, I, I, I love, you don't know, like, I guess the question was also, you don't, unless you see, you film it, you see what's happening between the two people, you won't have to know really if it's ever going to work. Well, I mean, in a way, there, there, there were there were blockbusters written by seasoned pros that tank. Okay. There are there are there are 
things written on a shoestring budget that's sore by, by, by newcomers, you know. Thank you. You're welcome. It's hard to say goodbye, but thank you. Okay, well, come back next week. We'll no, I, I meant today. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'm staying. <laughs> thank you. Um, all right, we've got about seven minutes left and we're gonna go to Lynn. Hey, Ryan. Hey, bro. Oh, sorry, I said Lynn. I'm so oh, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm, I'm saying hi to Ryan. I don't see Lynn. Where's Lynn? Oh, there's Lynn. You have an amazing background today. Isn't that a beautiful background? I know this old elderly lady, and she started painting. Wow. She's 93. Wow. And isn't that wild? That is wild. And she, and she started writing poetry, and I just think oh. it's so beautiful that I put it on the background because... Uh, I put it on the background. What is her name? Please share her. Could you put her name in the chat? Oops. Nada. Yes. N -A -D -A. Yes. And mm -hmm. I'll give you her last name as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, I have two questions. One, yes. it, it has to do with Richard and it has to do with what you said the last time, which is be kind. Mm -hmm. And um, I have a, a younger friend and she, she started, she, I encouraged her to write. Mm -hmm. I really encouraged her to write and she wrote something and mm -hmm. she's an actress and she's a wonderful actress and mm -hmm. she's a mutual friend of mine and, and, and Amelia's and she performed it. And I, I, uh, as she read it, to, when she read it to me, I thought there's, I, I said to her, there's something here that it's really wonderful that you're writing. You know, I mean, it wasn't that, I just wanted to encourage her more. Mm -hmm. And um, she, called, she left a message. She wanted to know how she thought she did when she performed what mm -hmm. she wrote. And I, I, I want to be kind because I want, I want her to, uh, make it better mm -hmm. because it's important to, and I'm so touched that just my encouragement made her sit down and write mm -hmm. which is basically your encouragement to me to write so I just just giving it forward and um but how do you do that when you see there's a problem problems which are difficult to difficult to explain to them? That's a, that's a great question. Um, and, and just talk, just talk to her, just talk to her about what you love. Okay, great. So I guarantee you, if she continues forward, she will figure out what she needs to fix, work on, correct. Yeah. It's really, it's like, it's like wa walking. It's like learning to walk. I mean, I don't know, you know, Durham, he's, you should see how tall he is. Come here, come here. Show Lynn how tall you are. We still have the panda you gave to him. Can you, oh, <laughs> look how oh tall, my goodness. How big he is. Okay. You remember when he was learning to walk? Can you yes, I remember. Will you just, just wave <laughs> smile? Okay, goodbye. Leave, goodbye, go away now. Um, but you remember, you know, so, so we encourage them. You know what I mean? You encourage. Yes. He figured out how to get it right. Now, now as it goes forward, sure, we're going to have to take him to task for, you know, everything under the sun. But, but um, I think you start, especially with someone who's new or someone who is just writing, start with encouraging. Okay. You know, start with encouraging. And as you, the, the relationship with, between your writer self and her writer self, as it deepens, you can become more specific and, and that, conversation about how to talk about the things that eh, don't work so much you know or you can ask her are the things about it that don't work so much okay i'd have a lot of ideas she's a fine actress she's used to you know being having that feedback loop going yes yes so yes. So, so you can you know but just be be kind and i just and, said uh, it was, i was so encouraged i was so touched that she mm -hmm. did it and you know Better than me because you know uh, finishing is a big deal. And anyway, I love you. Love um, you. 
And and Richard, I I just want to say what just reiterate what um as LP said before is get people who are who are kind to you, you know, who are um, positive, uh, you know, not somebody who's gonna sock you, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I have just a little question because you have one, one minute. Mm -hmm. Focus, could you talk a little bit about focus? Mm -hmm. What do you need to know? <laughs> what do I need to know? I, I sit and write and I have my timer and, and I'm Great. writing for an hour, you know, and, you know, a lot of times it's just babble, sort of like you're warming up to do something rather than to do the dance. Mm -hmm. I was, I was uh, reading something um, recently, make the time shorter. Really? Yeah. Do, do, um, three minute or two minute bursts it's, okay. it's, it's, it, it could be the equivalent of high intensity training hit you guys uh, high intensity interval training you know yes. and so just just write short bits right okay. for short amounts of time you know the yeah. idea is to put the time in but maybe you just write you know i'll write two minutes you know five times a day Okay, thank you. No, that's great. Thanks. See you next week. Mm, likewise, says. We have a second for Ryan. I know. Do we have a second for Ryan? Ryan, is your question yeah. quick? It's so good to see you. Uh, yo, yeah, it's good to be uh, back in the space. It's, um, it's uh, I feel a little long winded today, but I, uh, but everyone's questions were so helpful and they all like inform sort of what I was trying to get get at myself. Um, but uh, but yeah, I was really, yeah, what, what uh, Matthew and Richard and what Crystal spoke about at the top, I was like, I, yeah, it was all very helpful. So I'll come in next week, hi. Okay, <laughs> okay bro, it's great to see you. It's good to see you. It's good great to see, to see everybody, everybody. yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. Okay, okay. Uh, all right, so it is six o'clock. And we'll SLP will touch base yeah, and we'll, we'll be back. Up. We'll be back. Yeah, next we're into March. We'll be back next week. I'm sorry, Audrey, I didn't respond That's to your okay. email. Okay. Yes. March. Yes. Yes. See you next week then. Okay. Confirmed. Yay. 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 Bye, everybody. Okay. Bye.